Right, okay, so today's video, we're going to go out and do a little review. It's one degrees, we're coming up to the end of January, the roads are dry, we've got a few cameras on the bikes. So what's today's video going to be? So what we have done, we have hooked up with a local company to us. Maximo Moto, Maximo Moto is the company, Spanish company, they've got a division in Italy, they've got quite a few in Spain, four or five outlets I believe, and they've now got one in the UK, which is quite local to us in the Midlands, and we've hooked up with them false neutral there and what we're going to be doing we're going to be grabbing some of the products from the shop and we're going to be trying them out see what they like the Maximo Moto they have fantastic deals they're always on the website so if you go to the website I'll put it up now so you can see it there's always a deal on a discount or some brilliant deal you can get and if you're new to motorcycling or you're a young motorcycler or you've just started or even if you've got a tight budget if you've got a tight budget and you have to some motorcycle gear then Maxima Moto is the place you want to go we bought our uh, summer mesh jackets from there in the summer that was absolutely brilliant and I think in the end I think we had about uh, we had about 20 people buy the jackets as well so we well impressed with them so I've got some boots today from them, some tornado boots, so I'm trying these boots out so I'll just show you a camera angle of me having a look at the boots close up. So if we have a look at that first. So these are the boots, the Maximo Artec range and the boots are the Artec Tornado 2. So these ones are in olive colour with black and the green. They do these in black and also with white and red. So let's have a look at the boot. Right, so here's the boots. We've got the outside view and the inside view. That's the sole. We've got Velcro strapped zip on the inner side heel protection ankle protection that's quite nice and soft in there that feels quite strong up the back of the calf as well that's quite yeah that's quite strong that is there we've got the shin protection I'd imagine these are air vents for circulation so I don't know if you can feel those on the inside let's check yes so that's air circulation we've got it here and we've got it on the side of the foot shin protection which is quite hard that feels like a rubber compound comes all the way around it's nice and soft here flexible we've got the gear change pad that feels quite tough that does and we've got the toe slider comes with spare screws for the toe sliders so you can take those off have a look at the inside so there's extra padding here you can see there's extra padding around the ankle it's padded yep there's padding up the front 
this padding here at the side. It's got a soft sole in there. So those are quite nice looking boots. I do like the olive colour. They do look nice. We'll try them on the bike, see what they like. And the good thing with these is they're waterproof. Now what I'd like to compare them to is my current boot. So this is my RST Track Tech Evo 3. I think I paid £169 for these. So these are perforated. So that's my premium boot. Same again. They've got ankle protection, back protection. Same again, that's quite soft. Heel protection. The padding feels about the same. There's nothing extra in these boots. But the problem I've got with these RSTs is Although they're a bit dirty at the moment, I've hardly used these. I'll probably use these about six or seven times. And the zip has broke on this boot five times. On the other boot, the zip's broke twice. I've had to have the zip repaired. They still keep bursting open every now and again. So I'm not impressed with the zip on these. And these protections. On both boots, the ankle protection's popped off. So that just rattles around. It doesn't do it on the outside, it only seems to do it on the inside, but it's done it on both boots. So for premium boot and a premium brand, I'm not that impressed with these RSTs. Where, as we've said, if you're on a budget, you can get the Artec boots. The construction looks just as good. They feel just as good. The style of them looks quite nice as well. So we'll try them on the bike. But for premium brand, to be honest with you, I'm not impressed with those. I would, I would not buy another pair of RST boots. And these have been replaced, actually. I actually sent them back and they sent a new pair. And again, these... I've still had issues with. The last pair I sent back, when I pulled this off, it ripped all the Velcro off here. That came off and it was stuck to this bit. So that's the second pair and already, you said, you know, they're not performing very well. So we're gonna try these, the Arctic. Now a good looking boot. If you're new to biking, or you're a, a young rider, Biking equipment can become quite expensive. But I think if you've got a budget, I think Maxima Moto, they do some great products for great prices. There's always discounts on the website. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna get them on and we're gonna get out on the bike. We're gonna see what they feel like. Right, walking in these boots, they feel lovely. I do feel nice and comfortable actually. Because what I'm thinking is, is when we do our France tour, obviously we're going to be stopping on the box and we're going to be off the box walking around looking at things. So, as comfortable as they need to be on the bike, they need to be as comfortable walking. They felt lovely actually. They didn't feel like I'd got motorcycle boots on. They did feel very, very nice. Right. So let's try these boots out. Let's see what they're like. They feel light enough. They don't feel too heavy. They don't feel like I've got work boots on. I've got another camera down here sticking out a bit and another camera on the other side so we can try and film them. Have a look what they're like. So yep, they're very comfortable. They're waterproof. I've not got the perforation in them like my RSTs. Oh, it's up to about six degrees now. Now you all know what I'm like with my feet. My feet always get cold. That's why I had the heated socks. 
Uh, but wind protection, I feel really good. My feet are not cold. I'm not quite used to my feet being warm in boots without heat to socks on. But they feel nice, they do feel really nice. They feel nice on the pegs. I can feel the pegs, I can feel what's underneath my feet. I can feel the gear lever. That feels comfortable enough. Yet the top of them don't feel, doesn't feel over padded so I can't feel the gear selector. That feels quite nice too. I've got a nice little heel section so it stops my feet sliding forward on the picks. And to be honest with you, they are non-slip. I'm trying to slide my feet on the picks, but I can't slide them forward. So they've got a good grip. The grip seems very good. There's enough, I can move my ankles up and down. There's enough movement in them. Yeah, they feel, uh, they feel really nice. I can feel the back brake. I've got a good, because I always struggle with, I can't flat foot this VFR, so pushing the white backwards, I always find my feet slip, but they do have a good grip. I'll try that actually, I'll pull over and see if I can push back, see what the grip's like. I keep looking down, I'm just, uh, I'm just making sure where the cameras haven't fallen off the side of the bike. I've never had cameras on the fairing before. But yeah, they do feel nice. I can feel, I can feel them gripping around my ankle. So my feet's not sliding in them. One thing Maximo Moto did say is the Spanish sizing is a little under the UK sizing. So I'm normally a size 10 in the foot. And I tried the 10 on. The 10 was a bit snug for my liking if I was going to be walking. And they don't do half sizes, so they don't do a 10 and a half. So I've gone for a size 11. So I'm normally a size 10. I've gone for a UK size 11. And these are perfect. These fit like a size 10 does in any other shoe I've got. So just remember that. If you are looking at boots, you may want to consider that size bigger. Maximum Moto also said the same regarding the clothing. He's a slightly undersized to the UK. So if you have a, a large or an XL, go that one size up. So if you're a large, go for an extra large. If you're an extra large, go for a two times extra large. They feel really nice, they do. I'm, I'm impressed with them. And I do feel like I can, I'm, so I'm just trying to wriggle my toes up and down in the boot to make sure the boot's not like squashing my toes and I've got plenty of room around the toe area. So that's not an issue. I would be happy to purchase these boots. I'm more happy to wear these than my RSTs at the moment. Because those I am not impressed with at all. They're not that comfortable to walk in either, the RSTs. There's not a lot of... You don't seem to have a lot of flexibility on the back of the ankle, so... It's just struggle a bit when you're walking. What, where's this guy going? Because we're going, no, we're going to go up. We go straight on. Yep, I still can't feel any cold wind on them. So the wind protection is quite good. I do like how much movement I've got in the back of the ankle. They do feel very flexible. I know obviously protection is key and you don't want boots too thin because it's all about that they're about protecting you at the end of the day but those I've got to say they feel really really nice I do like these right, let me just try here right I've got my feet on the floor I'm pushing back I'm not slipping Yeah, my feet feel lovely in them. They honestly do. Right, I'm just going to pull over again in a minute. And we'll try walking. I want to see what they like walking. That's the key thing. That's when we do our tours. 
we are not just on the bikes. We spend quite a bit of time off the bikes walking around sightseeing. So I've got to be able to make sure that these are going to be comfortable when I'm walking around. I'm very impressed with them. I've got to say, hand up, I am very impressed with them. I'm not just saying that for the video. So obviously if you go out and buy these boots after watching this video, I need to be as honest as I can with you, with the boots. We're not getting paid from Maximo Moto to do these. I'm not paying us to review their products. The main thing what's sticking out to me with these boots, what I'm liking is the flexibility. I can move, I can move my ankles. And I've also, on these at the moment, I've got my jeans tucked into the boots. I normally have my jeans over the boot on the outside. And they're not too tight around the calf. So I think that size 11 was, it was the right size for me. I've got enough room in the foot area, the toes. It's not too tight around the calves if I have trousers tucked into them. Where the RSTs they were. The RSTs I found there was plenty of room in the foot. But the calf area around the ankle area seemed quite tight. So I could never get trousers inside them. And as I said, the, the, the issues I've been having with the zips on them. I'm sick to death of just having them zips repaired. They're driving me mad. And now obviously the ankle protection's popped out. You know, that, that's just someone else which is which is just niggling me for what I paid for them and that's the that's the second pair I've had those boots replaced because of a fault so there you go guys these are the Maximomoto Tornado 2 the brand is Artec so the range is it's the Artec and the model of the boot is the Tornado 2 so Maximomoto Artec Tornado 2 they do them in a variety of different colours. I've gone for the olive with the black and the green. They do them in all black and they also do them in black, white and red. Check out the website for the latest offer. Honestly, you will be amazed at what you can buy from there. So if you've got a tight budget or you haven't got a lot of funds and you need some new gear, that is the place to go. You will get everything you need from there.